Hello, this is Veteran0121, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X. <clears throat> and we're going to be taking on the Ocho today. And he seems kind of pissed. But, before anything else, get haste going here. Um, oh yeah, you can. there's a new ability with Yuna here. Uh, that's actually exclusive, well, that I taught you, know, that's exclusive to this uh, version of the game, Extract Ability. Uh, you can use it if you want enemies to drop Ability Spheres. I'm obviously not going to use it on this enemy, though, for reasons that we will find out soon enough. And, yeah, I'm not going to use her right now. Can I learn Blue Magic from this guy? Oh, okay, I can't. Alright, uh, yeah, I'm gonna get Dark Attack on this guy if I can. Okay, he's immune. That sucks. Yep. This guy's weak to fire and I wanna whittle down his HP as much as I can here. Is this guy immune to silence? Yeah. We'll find out. Well, if he wants to cast spells, then he can't now. Or at least for three turns. And, yeah, whatever get scan on this guy that way I don't have to worry about having a weapon with sensor on it yeah I'll bring Titus back in the battle here that way you can cast haste on Lulu because I want her to act a little bit faster for this battle Yeah, why not? <laughs> Doesn't really matter at this point. Yeah, and Ochu likes to fall asleep, and that's when he tries to heal himself. Yeah, you want to wake him up with a physical attack, obviously. And then he'll counter with Earthquake. And yeah, that kind of sucks. <laughs> um, yeah, get Yuna in here a little bit. Get some healing on, well, at least Lulu. Ah. Uh, yeah, a little white magic maybe on Titus. Almost got him down to where I want him to be. Okay, yeah, one more physical attack. And I'll just wait to get the Eunice turn. And we'll summon Valfor. And I actually got Valfor's overdrive gauge uh, up to maximum. Uh, off screen. Only took one battle. Doesn't take long to do. And we're gonna use energy blast on this guy. That should overkill him. Alright. And we get a good amount of AP. And two very important MP spheres. Or spheres, I don't know. I have a 
problem Summoner saying spheres for Very some reason. Sir, we should fight too. We'll get our chance soon enough. Young crusaders gather around. Moon beats in into the ground. Alright. Two very, very important MP spheres. Yeah, actually, actually, let's talk to these guys. Do your best, kid. Waka's counting on you. Alright, we're getting a lick, sir. Hey! After the tournament, you should join the Crusaders. Uh... Hey! Nah, that's okay, dude. <laughs> Do you guys have anything for us? I guess not right now. Yuna, Aeon, just who do you think you are? <laughs> wow. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Ha. Damn bugs. And then I'll just finish it off with Waka. Easy enough. Yes, we do. Alright, we get a high potion. Where are you two bastards going? Seriously, where are you? Could I, get, could I have gotten items from those guys? Oh, okay, there we go. Alright, we get a Null Blaze shield. And yeah, that's better than his buckler, I guess. Ooh, Dark Ward. Actually, I like the dark, the Bright Shield better right now. SOS Null Blaze, yeah, that's only useful if you're in critical status, because that's when it goes into effect, so yeah, I don't really care about that. Take it easy, huh? I'm fine. I'm not taking it easy. Thing, Lulu. Although it wasn't enough to kill it. Ow. Oh yeah, and there's something else I need to show off here. Something is written here, and it's in Gaelic. Well. Yeah, it's it's actually a clue to fight an item later on later on in the game, but yeah, I don't care about that right now. So I'm not gonna worry about that. Uh one thing I do wanna show off here though is uh now that we have two MP spheres that we got from that battle, uh you can actually put these MP spheres in certain empty nodes that you have on the sphere grid. And uh with these two MP spheres here, I wanna put one here. Yeah, empty node become becomes MP plus 40, and yeah, I want to put the other one right here because yeah, eventually Kamari's going to be down here anyway, so that way he can take advantage of increased magic points. And uh, yeah, with Yuna, I might as well use some mana spheres that way I can increase her MP. Yep, plus 80 to MP right there, right off the bat. And, uh, yeah, for Kamari, I'm going to do the same thing. Yep, there we go. And for Lulu, if I can get to her turn here. <coughs> yeah, I'll move her back this way. That way she can take advantage of these as well. Yeah, with Lulu, I'm not going to bother trying to learn uh, Extract Ability with her. You really only need to teach that to one character. There's other abilities like Extract Power, Extract Speed, Extract Mana. But really, yeah, you really only care about uh, doing that with um, one character. 
and pretty much Yuna, Kamari, Kamari and Lulu are going to be stuck on this part of the sphere grid for a while, actually, until I get a level 1 key sphere. So yeah, there you go. And touch the sphere to uh, restore all their MP. And eventually, too, once I get Titus over to this portion of the grid, because I do plan on teaching white uh, magic, other white magic to uh, Titus as well. Yeah, he'll be able to take advantage of these nodes as well. So yeah, very, very nice. Okay, I backtracked up to this area right here, and I got attacked. Oh, anyways, yeah, if you go over here, there should be a chest. And we get a Lux Sphere, and I'll be saving that for later. And did I already talk to her? Alright. I guess we did already talk to her, so... Yeah, I don't think there's any other treasure here in Kilika Forest, so let's head to the end here. And... Or not. Alright, anyways... Oh, oh! These stone steps have a history, you know. Yep, Lord O'Holland trained here at his peak. Hmm, is that so? Race, huh? <clears throat> Think you can beat me? <laughs> Yuna, if you would. Uh, ready? <laughs> hey. Nice. Ah, huh? Hey! <laughs> what does Kamari have to say? Nothing? Okay. <laughs> kids. Yeah, kids. Might as well save it. Okay, there's going to be a boss fight coming up if I go any farther up these stairs. So I'll probably end the video right here. And, uh... Yeah, is there anything else I need to go over this episode? Now that I have a minute or two. Yeah, there's really no wrong way to uh, upgrade your characters with this sphere grid here. But, uh, yeah, eventually I'm going to be going t with Titus here on the default path, probably all the way over here and get slow, and then follow this nice little straight path down all the way to here to get Sloga, and use a level 1 key sphere, because I should have plenty by that point, uh, to start taking this route, uh, back all the way to Sumawaka's path, and back over here where the steal and use abilities are, and then I'm probably going to teach them some white magic, I guess. And that's probably the route I'm going to go. If I went farther than here and didn't go this path after this locked node here, uh, I could go all the way and get Hastaga. Uh, the, the only problem with that is, is, well, by that time, it won't be that useful anyways. I don't know. I, I think Sloga is more useful than Hastaga. Just for the simple fact that end game armor, you can put uh, abilities on it like uh, like auto haste. So haste pretty much becomes useless. So yeah, I want, definitely want to get Sloga at least with Titus before I start working on some of the other abilities I want for him. So all right, that's pretty much it, and that's all for this episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy X. This is Veteran 0121, and I'll see you next time.